We are back in the water ski capital of the world, once again, Winter Haven, and we're talking about new things coming to the area. Brand new schools, real estate, restaurants, food halls, plural with an S, so you have to stick around. Jordan, cue the intro, you hit the like button. Let's get right to it. So for those of you who are actually subscribed to the channel, I owe you a hug. Two, then you would know that we just did a video on the number two fastest growing city in the nation, which is Lakeland, per, per multiple sources. Those sources actually consider Lakeland and Winter Haven to be one big metro, it's the neighboring city. So it's only right that we show you what's going on in Winter Haven, all the new stuff. And we're gonna start with the beautiful expanding downtown. Let's do it. So here we are, the city of the chain of lakes, water ski capital of the world, and we're talking about downtown. But there's a lot going on down here. Last time we were here, these luxury apartments weren't finished, but now they are. You have one and two bedroom options. I really love what they've done inside. They have like the ex exposed industrial ceilings, concrete floors that aren't really finished. It's really nice with the amenity center and all of that. But other things happening down here, people are buying these industrial buildings and old auto shops and turning them into these like hometown restaurants. Adler's is doing an excellent job, great burger place. Lucille's, everybody seems to like that area. But if you're familiar with the food hall concept, Winter Haven is going to have two of them. That's right, we're one-upping Lakeland, we're one-upping all of these other cities, but let's go check it out. So if you're not familiar with the concept of a food hall, it's kind of one general building that multiple food venues and beer venues can come together. And people can just kind of eat, drink, walk around, listen to live music, really cool. You think about the joinery in Lakeland, food hall. You think about Armature Works in Tampa, food hall. So two of them coming to Winter Haven would be massive. So you have the feedery, which they don't really have a lot of branding right now. They have a sign out front and then a very brief message on their website stating that there's a food hall coming soon. That's about a block away. But the one everybody's talking about is Bowden Yard and it's being developed out by 610. 610 has developed out the majority of downtown Winter Haven. So I know they're going to do an exceptional job. But what I'm thinking is if you are a unique food vendor, this is a great opportunity for you to come and showcase your food or your cuisine or whatever it is that you might have. I love competition. So two food halls that are like literally a stone's throw away, I think is only going to bring out the best in the area. What do you think? So here we are, Harmony at Lake Eloise. This is a community that I'm pretty damn excited about. It's gonna be over a thousand homes. There's gonna be retail space here. Most importantly, it's going to be on Lake Eloise. There's gonna be about 10 to 15 lots on Lake Eloise. Now, if you haven't seen our Chain of Lakes video, you need to check that out so you can educate yourself a little bit about the chain and Lake Eloise. But I was a little underwhelmed when I found out that DR Horton was gonna be the builder here. And I'm not pooping on DR Horton, but you're talking about million dollar mansions on the water here, and you're gonna be matching that with some production homes. We've done a lot of business with DR Horton. In fact, they consider me and my team to be VIP agents with them. Our clients get a little more closing cost than your traditional agents do. So we're not pooping on them. I'm excited, but I wanna see DR Horton show up, show out, do the right thing, and save me a lot because I'm going to buy one on the lake. What about you? So it's not hard to find communities popping up everywhere and personally in parts of the city that I never thought would be developed out. And people are buying, people are moving here, right? So infrastructure, how do you combat the amount of growth that we're seeing? 
Dundee Road just completed its expansion, right? So now we're gonna see less traffic or hopefully less traffic on Cypress Gardens Boulevard. If you live here, you know Cypress can get a little congested. But what about schools? Well, here you have it. Brand new elementary school, South Point Elementary. It's at the southern part of the city. It's really gonna help out a little bit of Bartow, Winter Haven, and Lake Wales. I really love how Winter Haven is ahead of the game when it comes to the schools. I would not want to be in an overfilled school for two, three, four years, all taken care of here. So just continuing on with like infrastructure, right? We spoke about roadways, schools, but now we need to talk about healthcare because that's important. And Winter Haven Hospital has been operating for over 100 years, perfectly fine. But Advent Health just broke ground on a 192 bed hospital, medical campus, emergency room here. Nothing fancy to really show you, but I'm really impressed with how proactive Winter Haven is ahead of the curve when it comes to the future growth that they're expecting to see. I don't think there would be anything worse than being stuck in, a, in an area that's overcrowded and not having this type of infrastructure in place. So bravo Winter Haven, love to see it. So there you have it, some new things coming to the city of Winter Haven, some neat, others very necessary. So this just might be your next home. So if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, whether that's here or anywhere else in the surrounding areas, my team and I would love to assist with that. You can reach us at cclayhomes at gmail.com or simply just text this number on the screen. Look, I would love to stick around, but as long as you're subscribed, we're gonna see each other again. So until next time.